Tech Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. What's up, Rec Tech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comment section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. Thick Nog Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Actually, we should probably do, only do, have do, the egg We should not have the boxes. We would, we would not finish on a Friday if we only drank egg dog. So if you want a delicious eggnog recipe, rectechgirls.com, we've got grandma's eggnog. And this is not... What's up, Veronica? Mm. You old sexy lady. She's an old bat. So there's a, that's delicious though. <coughs> it's pretty awesome. <coughs> oh. So this recipe is online. Is online. So guys, everybody mm. joining in. Mm. There's only a, about a quart and a half of alcohol in there. It's so good. Oh, so good. So good. Rick Tick Lifestyle. But yeah, happy holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy non-denominational holiday. Festivus? This is uh, Festivus. This is episode 73. Oh. Freaking fun day Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, today's episode is How to Cook a Rec Tech Brunch. This is episode brunch. number 73. I do uh, want to uh, say happy birthday uh, to our Twitter expert, Woo! Jordan. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Happy birthday. Jordan is now 25 years old. Quarter century. He Quarter is officially of century all of his parents' insurance. No, that's next year. Next year? 26. Oh, I got my own insurance. I'm cool. Good for you, Jordan. <laughs> uh, we also want to send a congratulations to our friend, our confidant, our co-worker, uh, ex, uh, what is it called? Intern. Intern. Ex-intern. Newly full-time employee, Country Woo! Club. Woo! Woo! Country Club. Country. 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 Raise a glass Cheers. to you Cheers. for graduating. Cheers. Everybody out there at Rec Tech Nation, please thank uh, uh, and congratulate Country Club. It's a, a huge, huge step in life, graduating from college. He's worked his butt off, and, and here's to you, buddy. We love you. Congratulations. Your parents should be proud. You're a good kid. Uh, last week, we kicked we kicked Fun Day Friday in the old ace. It was some a, seafood paella. That paella was jamming. We had oh, scallops man. and lobster and crab legs. And those beef ribs. Mussels, Oscar. clams, mm. uh, and then those beef ribs. Everybody in the barbecue community, uh, you know, hit me up. It was like, man, those beef ribs looked amazing. Thank you for letting us know, you know, what to order, how to order it, yep. how to cook it. Those things were absolutely amazing. Um, today is National Salesperson Day. So we want to thank all of our Yay! salespeople. Yay! Uh, the our retail manager, we want to thank him. We want to thank AB and Matt, our sales managers, uh, Ben, our general managers, and yeah. everybody that everybody. essentially works here because we're all salespeople because we can handle we can handle everybody. it all. It's actually National Alabama Day. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's too no, soon, no, too no, soon no. for me. No. Not gonna lie. No. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Marty. I love all those people in Alabama, but it's just too soon for me. Uh, this week's YouTube winner. If you guys didn't know, and if you're just joining us, um, if you're just joining the RecTech family, every week we upload this four-segmented episode of Fun Day Friday to YouTube. Uh, you can actually watch that episode and learn how to win a RecTech prize pack. Mm -hmm. Last week's winner was Mr. Joel Rivers with a correct answer of 22 minutes and 25 seconds. Yeah, Ooh, Joel. Joel. Joel, so please uh, email Maidline, M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E -E, at rectechgrills.com and she will get you that prize pack handed on out to you, oh, my no. brother. No. Ma'am, talk to me. What's up? I mm -hmm. preemptively okay. moved if he's bad. Or, did we, or do we send him an email? No. no. Okay, That's cool. Um, but we didn't do a caption this contest this week we because we are doing nice. our Win a Matador a Day giveaway. Um, so the way that works is you go to rectagirls.com, scroll all the way to the bottom, and sign up for our newsletter. Um, that's how that works. you got to be an insider. you got to be an insider. Be insider. Uh, if you guys haven't received any emails from us and you have done that, clear your history and uh, reload rectagirls.com. It'll be good to go. Um, we are going to announce a winner right now for the Matador Day giveaway. We've uh -oh, got seven we today. I, I don't even need that. I, don't, I already know who it is. Uh, he is a Rectech faithful. Uh, he's been here before. He drove all the way here in a Porsche. Ooh. Uh, his name oh, nice. is Mr. Greg we Gregory Bidwell. Yeah! Greg! 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 Greg's Greg! actually Greg! visited Greg! us before. We know Greg. We've seen his face. Uh, I'm a friend with him on Facebook. So Greg's... Yep, probably a friend Absolutely. with him on Facebook. Um, speaking of Facebook, Greg's on Facebook. He is uh, Chef Greg 
Muller. Muller. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I yep. am uh, Jody Flanagan. Instagram. I am John Dylan Senior. So please look me up. He is she he is Rectech Reg. Yep. Uh, excuse me, Olivia. High five, George. Oh, High five. Good. This week. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna brunch we're gonna, it out. We're gonna brunch. We're gonna brunch it out. up a lot. Take it away. So chef. we're gonna do some Scotch eggs. So if you're not familiar with that, we'll show you how to do that. But essentially, it's a hard boiled or a soft boiled egg, whatever your preference, wrapped in sausage. Traditionally deep fried, but we're actually just gonna roll it in some herb breadcrumbs and we're gonna smoke it off on the uh, 590. I mean, we, it's gonna be dynamite. I mean, I got some oil. I got a matador out there. We, we may even we might even just do, we might even just do that. But these guys, uh, if you haven't seen them, these are the internet sensation. A lot of people so barely good. cook them, so uh, and then when you cut into them, you see the yolk oozing. Crumbs. The yolk coming out. If you uh, haven't seen our stories, uh, you missed out. Oh, chef, knocking it out the park the other day. We're Sorry, also, chef. We're also doing a couple uh, breakfast casseroles. We're doing egg strata, oh. which is essentially we're taking some leftover biscuits. And I don't know about you, there's not ever there's leftover never, biscuits in my house. never any leftover but biscuits. We made some extra biscuits. We'll mix that with like an egg custard, some vegetables, a ton of cheese, and some honey ham. We'll bake that off. This is a great way to prep. Christmas breakfast. The I day was just before. about to say that it sounds like yep. a great Christmas breakfast. And then we're gonna take some of this uh, shredded mozzarella cheese, aka hash browns. <laughs> so before you uh, dive into something <laughs> that you don't know what it is, millennials. Yeah, we. Uh, these are shredded potatoes. <laughs> the ladies thought strange. that it was mozzarella this morning. They're like, why is this mozzarella frozen? frozen? It was all strands. <laughs> shredded potatoes. So we're gonna do a uh, a potato egg bake as well. Like a hash brown casserole. Well, we're gonna do uh, it's gonna be eggs and some sausage in this one. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. This and then uh, we'll round out breakfast. We got it, grits, we got gravy, but uh, we we'll, we'll got those recipes on the web for you. We're also going to do some fried egg sandwiches because yes. I don't know about you, but a, a good egg sandwich, it's kind of hard that's, to beat. That's brunch to me. Uh, to it's like a hamburger patty, egg, mm -hmm. everything, waffle, gravy, <laughs> uh, syrup, syrup, and all together. Or eggnog. Cheers. Cheers to you. You guys didn't know how to make a mimosa. Chef, tell them. So grab some champagne. Or sparkling wine, if it's not from the Champagne region of France. I'm like a I'm like a two thirds one third kind of guy. I like a third champagne. Oh, you like a third? Okay, I'm an exact opposite. Uh, yeah. I like more alky al with my orangey. It's got to be a little orange. We, <laughs> if, if it's a little on the uh, the clear side, take your heartburn medicine, folks. Bit more. Take your omeprazole because it will give you a little bit of indigestion. But it's delicious. It's good breakfast. Absolutely, it's very refreshing. It's yep. a great way to start the day. Yep, absolutely. So. so uh, do we got any questions or anything out there? Why is there a gummy bear? Why is there a gummy bear? Well, we wanted to show you guys this gigantic gummy bear because the boys at Meat Sweats actually had to tackle something like that. Um, and we're kind of teasing you with it. So when when should we look for that? Wednesdays. Meat Sweat. So I would, look, I would look for the brand new edited episode of Meat Sweats on Wednesday. It's going to be amazing. It was... Um... It was hysterical. You guys got to follow everybody on the media team, as well as myself and Greg, because you can see behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. But you still got to wait till Wednesday. You, you, it, Wednesday's <laughs> going to be amazing, <laughs> but it was Ben good. David Marshall checking in. Oh, hey, Country, Country Club! Club. Congratulations. 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 Here's the Country Cheers. Club. Congratulations. Watching from his graduation, probably. There you go. Ding. Hey, Country, Country Club, don't trip. Don't do anything stupid, because you officially don't have your diploma. No, so, yeah, be careful. Rain it in until like 4.30, sure. then you're good to go. You then you can act like an idiot. You maniac tonight, uh, today, every day after. Uh, but Greg, I right. do have a joke. <laughs> it's a Christmas joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I love it. So, you know, I'm a married man. Um, why did Frosty the Snowman get a divorce? Huh? I don't know. His wife was just a big flake. Oh! It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. <laughs> All right. So, um, but just to recap, it is Rec Tech Brunch today. We encourage you to follow us uh, coming live every thirty minutes. When we do are not live here, we are live on Twitter. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. We'll we'll be back back in. In. We'll be we got strata sandwiches. We've got some stuff. awesome brunch stuff. We'll be drinking some mimosas. Uh, we'll be uh, hitting you with some behind the scenes uh, later. Thank you guys so much. It's Fun Day Friday. Do 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 do. I want to live variety. Do, do, do. So who is Eric Estrada sings? Uh, is he a singer? Do, do, no, he's a movie star. Do, do, he's on the show. Chips. 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 Yeah. Do, do, do. Here's a trivia question for you. Who was the other guy? Wow, that's a great question. The other guy on Chips, the white guy. David, who was the white guy on Chips? 
You got Eric Estrada, then you got. I got nothing. He's like, I don't know, Bo. Uh, yeah, I got another Bo. I'll drink some liquor, though. You want to drink some liquor? <laughs> no, yeah, you got a snake dog? It's got shrimp in it, though. No shrimp. No shrimp. We did. <laughs> David's got a shellfish out of it. It's a good egg, though. It's the same shrimp. Yeah. It's got a kick. It's a pair in your chest. Well, good, I need it. I'll put it on your head. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. All right, so it'll put, it'll put hair elsewhere. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and make uh, our egg casserole and our egg strata, right? Right, Chef? So it's honestly not a not a difficult way to do this. Just grab some biscuits and just kind of kind of do one of these. You can take stale bread. You can take biscuits. biscuits best, all sorts of stuff. And these were some day-old cheddar garlic biscuits. They are red lobster style. Fantastic. These are go great with brunch. Give that savory flavor. Mm -hmm. And again, there's not a right way or a wrong way to do it. Great wait, job. Wait. Great job for the there's kids. There's no rules? No rules. This is breakfast. This is brunch. No rules. All, All right, back. so that works for me. So let's grab uh, some already cooked let's sausage. Let's do some sausage. And this and is this ground breakfast, right? Mm-hmm. And this is a great way to use leftovers if you want to. If you've got some onions and peppers from fajita night earlier in that week, go for it. I'm sorry, Jody. Just throw everything in a pan. Just gonna throw it in there. I like it. All right, so let's uh, these pieces. Let's hit it with some cheese, some cheddar. cheddar. You want some peppers and onions in here? Uh, always. All right. Let's sorry, go Harry. It. Sorry, Harry. We love you. You want to do ham in this one, or you want to ham in the other one? Uh. Larry Wilcox was the white guy on chips. Yay! Thank you. Congratulations, Larry. So here's our base for the custard. <laughs> for every six eggs, we're going to add about a cup, cup and a quarter of milk, and that's going to give us our custard. So for every six eggs, you add about a cup, a cup and a quarter of milk. Yep. Okay. So if you're using like the jumbo eggs, probably go about a cup and a quarter. If you're using large eggs, about a cup. And you said this is our custard. This is just going to pretty much meld and bind everything together, correct? It's going to make everything delicious. And again, we've got um, bread in here and we'll have hash browns in the other one. So if your custard is a little bit on the lighter side, that's cool because you've got other things in there yeah. to help. Everything's going to soak it up. Make it happen. So that's right about three cups. Exactly. Exactly three cups. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It looks good. It looks like eggnog. It looks like eggnog. So while we're here, let's go build this one too. Cool. Let's do uh, some potatoes. These are just frozen shredded potatoes, not to be confused with mozzarella cheese. Inside joke, you gotta watch earlier. Oh, two layers, two layers. Oh, two layers, sorry, Chef. It's okay, you can save some. Side I know. But you know what, there's no rules. If you want one no layer, rules, one layer. No rules, just right. Wait, is that somebody else's slogan? No, Who knows? So. Make it out back. Yeah, I think so. All right, so we'll add some taters in here. There you go, how about some more ham? Ham, 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 so take this. There's no, again, yeah. no rules, just dump. And, and this is what Becky does. Uh, she goes ahead and does the breakfast. We call it a breakfast casserole. Uh, mm -hmm. She does it, you know, before Christmas. You know, that way it has time to set up overnight. All she has to do is turn the oven off, uh, excuse me, <laughs> the rec tech on, and throw it in there, um, and it's good to go. You know, 20, you know, 20 to 25 minutes, it heats right up. Mm -hmm. uh, you can easily portion it to your whole family. So if you got guests coming over, uh, yep. it's, it's an awesome, awesome thing. And again, you want to just cover this because what's going to happen is as those potatoes kind of absorb some of that, the bread kind of sucks it up, uh, gets it all, kind of like sucks it up. Just makes it all delicious. Suck it up, horrible. Yeah. Suck it up, Brad. It's going to swell. No, I, I've got, I picked up Ben's heifer dust. Me and Chef have been talking about it. We're going to start using the Ron's espresso. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, it's breakfast. For it breakfast, is, you yeah. get it? Get it? No, on this one, I think you got to go Dirty Girl. Because that sausage, the peppers, the onions. Both available at RegTechGrills.com. Looking good. 1098 on the website. Got to put some on that one too. Uh, it's 8998 for the, the cool, uh, sauce and spice bundle. But the coolest part about, like how we changed and went right back. That, yeah, was, that was, was awesome. You know what I love about our rubs? There's no MSG. They are gluten free. There's no anti-caking agents. They're made it's right here in Georgia. 100% delicious, good flavor. 
and they go good on everything. Like literally every rub that we have Can goes on great any? on beef, chicken, pork, seafood. All pork of them. Vegetables, anything. all of them. So all again, perfect. you do this Saturday night. You do That's this right. Friday night if you're eating your brunch on Saturday. And then all you gotta do is get your rec tech on, turn it on while you're in bed. Time to tip, phone. chef. We're gonna go with 3.50 in about 40 minutes or so. Turn, turn the grill on from the phone, wake up, throw it in there, get some mimosas, get some coffee, and that's uh, that's pretty good. So we did some earlier. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll stick these on. We'll give you a sneak peek. I don't know what this one is. Oh, look at that one. Ooh. Look at that. That's going to be the Strata. Look at that. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. And again, you want to cook it till it's just set. Let it rest for a good 15 minutes. And this is going to be that hash brown one. Woo! This one's got to go a little bit longer, a little bit juicy in there. But what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll cover it up. Again, we're cooking a rec tech. You want to stick this on the bowl? No, brother. I got to that uh, second shelf here in the stampede. Look at this. More accessories. The small interior shelf. And then you're able to stick it over there on the left hand side. No doubt. There we go. We also have enough room up here for another pan if we need it. Sure so, good. Uh, this is uh, 3498 available at rectechgrills.com. And this is the amazing Stampede. It's got a 30 pound hopper. Guys, if you didn't know, we average about a pound an hour. So this 30 pound hopper is going to get us through about 30 hours of cook time, okay? That's at about 300 degrees. If you're below 300, it's going to get you longer. If you're above 300, it's going to get you a little less. But it's, uh, it's got the four, it's got the stainless steel body. There's no powder coating or anything on the body that gets hot. So there's no chance of any paint or anything failing. Uh, it's gonna look beautiful forever. It's got that porcelain coated enamel lid. Comes standard with the bottom shelf. Uh, this is an amazing grill. And not to mention, Chef can control this grill from his phone. Uh, if we had meats in here that we needed to maintain a temperature on, or a monitor a temperature on, we've got two uh, dual meat probes in here. We can also monitor that. So that's very, very important. You don't have to spend extra money on an extra awesome thermometer. It's already no, built, in. built in. And then if you guys, we did one yesterday, so if you had to watch our stories on Instagram and Facebook, if you're not cooking on a Rectech this week, next week, this is why. Temperature control. Absolutely. How even it is, we're doing a biscuit test. So right here we put these on right before we started. These have been on about 10 minutes. Look how even those biscuits are rising. Okay? If you want to see how inconsistent your grill is, your, your, your smoker is, Get a pan of biscuits, put a full pan of biscuits on. I guarantee you, it's not like ours. Because those biscuits will be beautiful golden brown, left to right, top to bottom, Front fantastic. Back. Yep. So about five minutes, those will be done. And then uh, when we come back, we'll show you how to do these scotch eggs. Yeah, these things are awesome. They're a uh, internet hit. It's essentially just an egg uh, covered in sausage. Well, I'm actually getting, um, getting the memo in the earpiece yep. that I'm not wearing that they want us to do it now. Okay. People, the people want to see it, so let's do it. It's easy peasy, guys. So this is going to be uh, some hard-boiled eggs, and if you like a soft-boiled egg, now we did these for, for 10 minutes. That's right. So cold water, bring it to a boil, turn your timer on for 10 minutes, turn your heat off, let it go, let them get cold and peel. If you like soft-boiled eggs, runny, soft you like runny, runny eggs, bring up. Get that internet sensation video. There you go. Bring your water to a boil, then add your eggs. Five minutes and 45 seconds. That's it. Five minutes and 45 seconds. Got it. So grab a chunk of your sausage. Okay. Make a quick little patty with it. And again, you can use Italian sausage, country sausage. And then literally all you're going to do is encapsulate that egg in sausage. What else are these called, Chef? Um, I only know them as scotch oh, eggs. But you have, um, like if you put a jalapeno pepper and cream cheese in here, yeah. you might have an atomic buffalo atomic turd. Buffalo turd. I love, it's just it's just fun to say. And then I'm gonna roll these. I took some freaking Greek and panko, and I'm gonna roll that in there. That way it gives it a little crispy, crispy. And panko is just Japanese uh, just bread a very coarse that bread you crumb. can find uh, at your local grocery store. Yeah. Now, if you're gonna fry these, you want to roll these in flour, egg wash, and then the panko. But since we're okay. gonna cook them on the grill mat, great accessory. Absolutely.com. We're just gonna cook these at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes or so. So that sausage is reading about 165 degrees. So 350 for about 30 yeah, to 30, 40. 30, 30, 30 right. 35 minutes. And that's gonna be nice golden brown and delicious and amazing. So that is the Scotch egg. Sweet, thank, thank you, you, Chef. Too. And then I'm gonna hit you guys uh, with some more winners what? of the Matador A Day giveaway. That's right, if you're just now tuning in, uh, Santa Ray wanted to give away one Matador A Day every day through the month of December. So we're giving away 31 Matadors. We announced seven winners last week. 
uh, and we're going to announce seven winners this week. The first winner was Mr. Gregory Bidwell. Congratulations, Gregory. Um, I'm going to go ahead and announce two winners. Uh, the next two winners of the Matador A Day giveaway are, drum roll please, <laughs> Kathy O'Connor. That name, uh, I believe uh, Kathy O'Connor is Rec Tech Kathy Rec on Tech social Kathy. Kathy. And she Rec actually Tech dropped Kathy. off some. Yeah, she actually came by the other day, which is really cool. Gingerbread cookies and sweet tarts. Um, and then the next winner of the Matadora Day giveaway, <laughs> Mr. Kyle Harris. Oh, yes, Kyle. Kyle. So there is nothing you guys need to do. Uh, the winners, you guys will receive an email from us prompting you on how to claim your prize, okay? So all you have to do is check your email, check your junk file, all of that stuff. Uh, your spam, it may have wound up in, wound up in there. Uh, but check that, uh, it'll prompt you and you can fill out the form and we'll get everything to you. So uh, we'll be back in about 30 minutes. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, 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 Lawson, 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 Who's first? Adam Lee was first. Cool. Talk about butter. What, are we, what am I going to do, Chef? You want to do some bacon? Yeah, I'm going to do some bacon and I'll butter the buns. You got those tongs over there still? Yeah, I got them. You, you got another pair right here? I got this pair. What's up, yeah, Adam Cross? Where are you guys watching from today? So I'm doing bacon. What you doing, Chef? I got a country ham. Y'all check out Chef for a half a second. Honey ham and uh, some fantastic Canadian bacon. So I get the I get the Rec Tech set at 350 degrees. Look at those eggs. Look at those Scotch eggs. Let's get this ham going. The Scotch eggs will let them go for about 35 minutes. And so, guys, there's really no method to this madness. This is just breakfast meats, right? Yeah. I got some, some delicious country ham from North Carolina. New Mexico checking in. Iowa. What's up, New Mexico? Oklahoma City. You know, I bet the weather in New Mexico is pretty nice right now. You know, my buddy uh, Brandon was in the Florida Keys and he said it was amazing. 75 degrees today. That's awesome. Can I co-mingle this Canadian bacon on here? Please. This, oh. is, this is uh... Rick that Kathy says thank you so much. Oh, thank so you, excited. Kathy. Windy City checking in. Hey, Kathy, I mean, you did it all on your own. Uh, uh, you entered to win. You Gotta signed up for the newsletter. You shared pictures. You tagged us. Jody, did you use store-bought bacon? Yes, for sure. But if you want to see a really good recipe for how to do bacon yourself, if you go on YouTube and search Rec Tech Greg Bacon. i show you how to do it. It takes about seven to ten days at the house. Can't be any easier. Just need some raw pork belly, a couple different seasonings. You will need some tinted curing mix or pink curing salt. Not pink Himalayan sea salt, but tinted curing mix or pink curing salt. And be careful with that stuff, right, guys. We got it's Mississippi, hardship. Texas. Nitrates are nothing All to over the around. place. Checking in, Jody. Sweet, sweet. Thank you guys for watching. Jasper, Indiana. Douglas, Georgia. Granville. Douglas, Georgia. That's where my family's from. Bermuda. That's actually where Country Club was a collegiate swimmer was in Douglas, Georgia at the South Georgia College. Shout out Country Club. Bermuda. He's actually graduating. Bermuda. Bermuda. That's awesome. Dude, can we go to Bermuda right Florida. now? Bro, we need Dude, to go to the Bahamas to that, uh, we need to do it. That steak cooker. You know what's cool about the Bahamas is that the Atlantis, they have a slide that goes into like a water tank and there's like sharks and stuff. It's pretty crazy. John Franklin just got back from the Bahamas and he got uh, me a uh, silk Santa Claus Baha Bahama shirt. Thank you, John That's Franklin. Cool. I'm going to wear that on Christmas Day. You wear it on Next Monday, Friday. When it's you do breakfast, no, I'm gonna wear it on uh, Monday, Monday. Okay. Monday. Bacon flavored beard oil for you is what they they're suggesting. Well, it is after he eats bacon. Just kind of bacon down a little bit. Flavored? I don't taste my beard oil. Yeah. You can smell it all day. That make that make me hungry. So we've got some. I'm really rolls. trying to think about it. I just can't. 
What are those, Chef? I'm sorry. These are some Tolera rolls. Tamale rolls. T very delicious. Tolera rolls. Tamara. Tolera. T e l e r a. Oh, okay. All right. So it's going to be uh, nice and soft the inside. Oh, you want me to butter a little chewy on the outside. I think you could. I'm going to do that on the mat. Okay. Pull the firefighter checking in. Still coming oh, in from Texas. Pull the firefighter. Pull. You see it in the action? Need what is it called? Five Taking alarm. scented. Five ah. alarm fires. We've also got some. Croissant. We gotta be fancy. We got some croissant. A little fried egg and some monster cheese on that croissant. Or a croissant. I've got some croissants. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some croissants. We're giving a shout out to that beautifully wrapped bowl. <laughs> Guys, if you wanna win that bowl. 12 Rays of Christmas is going on right now. Mm -hmm. Gotta be an insider. You gotta be an insider, so make sure you sign up for our newsletter. Gotta be an insider. How do you enter the uh, 12 Rays of Christmas, Jordan? It's very simple. You just simply go to our website, scroll all the way down, become an insider, and, and then, subscribe to our newsletter. And then? And then no more and then! That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's then, it. Cool. Watch for the posts every day, guys, on social That's media right. and play along. We've got some biscuits here. Look how even these are. Nice, flaky, delicious, perfectly cooked. Ooh. I love biscuits. We'll start buttering your buns, Chef. There That's you go. That's okay. You know, we need a good recipe for that to go with these biscuits. Chef John made it a couple weeks ago. It was a uh, orange marmalade. That stuff was dynamite. So, Chef John makes a lot of biscuits at the Wisconsin Cafe. Someone said they want to buy one, but they want the horn handles to be turned out. Can we do they that? Can do well, that when you get the grill and you take it home, you can dress that, that bowl however you want. If you want horns out, horns in, it doesn't matter. You're cooking on a rec tech. Just don't let Ray see it because the horns got to be in. <laughs> <laughs> but you can buy a grill and do what you want. If you nice. choose to live the rec tech lifestyle with your horns out, that's cool. <laughs> Hashtag horns up. Horns in for me. I would agree. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And so for our viewers who were in the last segment, what are you cooking alongside those breakfast meats there, Greg? So I got some scotch eggs. So this is going to be some hard-boiled eggs. So it's got liquor in it? Dude, I wish. Uh, no, that was the eggnog earlier. Aha! Can we wrap these eggs in a sausage? Let that country ham go a little bit longer. Woo! And then I think I'm going to fry some eggs. What about you? Do it, Chef. Let's do it. These buns, you, I'm gonna toast. Do you like your eggs kind of runny? I always runny. Let's do it. All I right. I'm running a marathon. So I'm gonna steal some butter here, and since right, my hands are already dirty, here we go. Come on this side. Woo! It's gonna be so cool. <laughs> Fry that egg. <laughs> Is that pot roll? Pockerol? Pockerol. What is Pockerol? Spelling? Can I get the... Michael John Jr., what is Pockerol? Can I get the origin, please? Can he use it in a sentence? Jody's the moon duck. Man, I'm just toast to Chef's buns. Y'all get off me. I'm just joking. <laughs> Pork rolls, not a pork roll. Pork rolls. So I am from the Northeast. I love me some pork roll egg and cheese. Gotta have some Taylor ham. That's my jam right there. So guys, Chef is actually on the RT700, the bull. It's available at rectechrolls.com. If you've never seen this roll before, it is our uh, is our number one seller. We sell more of these grills than any other grill out of everything. It's got the front folding shelf on it right now. It does not come standard with that, but it does come standard with that Y pellet Wi Fi controller. You can actually control your grill from your phone, which is super cool. Also, got the dual meat probes. That way, you don't have to buy a hundred dollar thermometer to monitor your meat. It's built into your grill. It also has a, the probe hole so you can stick your probes in there without cinching them in the lid. It's got the stainless steel body, no paint to fail. 40 pound hopper to get you through two days of cooking, two solid days of cooking. But it's got 702 square inches on the inside. It gets above 550 degrees. It's one of the hottest pellet grills out there, along with the Stampede, the Trailblazer, and the Bullseye. Uh, all of them get super, super hot. Uh, the Bull, though, it has a six year warranty. It's going to last longer than you guys. Visit rectechgrills.com to check it out right now.
But you got going to chef anything good. up? You got that casserole almost done. You like heifer dust in your eggs? You know, I like everything in my eggs. All right, let's do some heifer dust on these eggs. Woo! A little fried egg action. Heifer dust. Heifer, 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 heifer dust. A little heifer dust over the shoulder for good luck. Left side, right? Always. Always. Got them toasted up, man. Yeah. Colby Caster says it is mouth watering every so those time. Are Tolera rolls, y'all. These Tolera rolls look how soft, look how golden they are. They feel, they Here. smell absolutely amazing, man. Here's I totally hash, recommend getting these things. That hash brown Jesus. egg casserole, we'll let that rest for like 20 minutes. That's looking dynamite. I love the crispy crispies on the side. We spray that down with some uh, duck fat spray on the inside of that pan. Chef, going back to those Tolero rolls, where can you find those just in your regular baker section? So they are only available at the finest of grocery stores. <laughs> uh, Kroger, right down the street, Washington Road, shout out, they have them. I'm sure H-E-B out there in Texas Everywhere. Them. Yeah, they're good. You could also use in place of this, if you don't can't find the Tolero rolls, you could use, I mean, y'all, they're good. These things are fire. I've never, I'm just so impressed with this bread right now. Yeah. Now, Jody, no, Daniel, Daniel Nunez asks, why are the grills so loud? Or is it just my mic? It's not loud. That's that's flavor you're hearing. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yes, yes. Obviously, the iPhones, they pick up a lot of noise, of course. Uh, but yeah, what you hear is that blower fan. Uh, that blower fan creates the combustion and creates the even cooking like a convection oven Absolutely. on the inside of your grill. And with so that you, lid closed, it doesn't echo. It's a lot louder when we open it up. And you're really sticking that phone inside the grill. So absolutely, it's absolutely. More. And we're, you know, we're in an echoey kind of place. So you can, of course, hear it a little bit more. But no, my grill sits right outside my bedroom window. When I go to bed, I can't hear it. So, I mean, it's not, it's not as loud as you think it is, I promise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll be back in 30 minutes. When we go, when we leave here, Jordan's going to go live on Twitter. Twitter. Remember, it's his birthday. Wish him a happy birthday. Do you want to give away a matador? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do the it. winner. Wait a second. Hold on. Let Beast me paper. Throw, wait, paper. Put in my pockets. Jody, I think you can give away two winners. Can, Jordan, will you give me the permission to give away two winners? I, I think he just. I think, I think you he should did. do it. Okay. Here's my lucky piece of paper. That can. This is the only place that the winners are, are at. So I can't lose this paper. Don't mm. cheat. No, no cheating. No cheating. No cheating. I don't know how to pronounce this. Jay Gardner. Whoa! Jay Gardner. Yay! Congratulations, Jay Gardner. No, it's really Jay Gardner. Congratulations, so Jay. So that's one. North Carolina. I think he's from North Carolina. Very Jay. cool, very cool. And then Carrie Poss. K A R I P O S S. Carrie Poss, congratulations. Kari. 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 I just learned. I met her in person. Cool. Kari. Very cool. Very cool. Well, congratulations to those two winners. What do we got? How many we got? What we got? One more, I guess? We gotta go eat some food. Well, I'm just saying, how many more do we have? Winners? I can't even remember. Two? Hold on. All right, what so names did I call out? I called out that one. Gregory Bidwell. Gregory. I called out Kathy O'Connor. I called out Jay Gardner, Gardner. And I called out Kerry Poss. So that leaves Kari. three. Kari Poss. Kari. And the way you guys claim it, just wait uh, to receive an email in your inbox. Make sure you check your spam folders. Um, but we will send you an email. We will call you. Don't call us. We'll see you at the RecTech. See you in about 30 minutes, guys. Do, 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 do. do, do. Check do, on do, your do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh man, Jordan's got an infection on his birthday. Did you get some penicillin? Jordan's got an infection on his birthday. Do not. So guys, please say a prayer for Jordan. Don't hashtag pray for Jordan. Alright. <laughs> Why is it gonna be hashtag? I'm fine. Hey, Jerry, it's been a fun fun day Friday. It's been a fun fun day Friday. My favorite meal of the day, the week, the month, and the year is brunch. And I think you, I think we did a great job. All right. So you want to recap? I recap. You recap. I would love to hear a recap from this too. But first, I think we should right talk now. about the DG moneymaker. So if you are a Bloody Mary aficionado like myself. You're always on the looking out for fantastic Bloody Mary mix. Yeah, you gotta look out for it. You said on the looking out. Yeah, you never gotta heard look that before. Out. It's weird. Whatever. Say whatever you want, Grace. So, I'm a fan of the hot. I like it spicy. Great flavor. It's on sale right now. RecTechGirls.com. And if you guys didn't know, we have a sister company. Dirty Girl. Uh, it is called Dirty Girl uh, Mixers, uh, which uh, they make a 
amazing, amazing margarita mix. You don't have to add lime. You don't have to add sour. You don't have to add the triple sec. It's all built in. Just add the tequila. It's super, super easy. Well, we, they also it's have a clean flavor too. They also have the only aged olive juice on the market. If you're a martini lover or if you love dirt, uh, Bloody Marys with um, uh, olive juice in it, excuse me, um, this is hands down the best olive juice on the market. It's aged 10 months. The only olive juice on the market that is aged 10 months. And then we of course have the full line of Bloody Mary. Uh, we've got the hot, which is spicy and what chef likes. It's toasty. We have the medium with horseradish. And then we have the mild, classic Bloody Mary mix. We encourage you guys, uh, all of this is actually on sale at rectechgrills.com just for today. So we encourage you to go there, as well as our Dirty Girl seasoning. So please check that out. Also, check them out on Amazon. They've got some great prices. It's an amazing, amazing product. It's all natural, award-winning stuff. Product. And that aged olive juice is not just good for martinis. It's good in salad dressings, marinades, all sorts of good stuff. So it's a great, uh, great hand. And I'm, I'm feeling like I want to do a Bloody Mary grilled cheese soon. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out with that. We're gonna come out with that recipe with uh, one of the uh, mild Bloody Mary mixes. So this is gonna be that egg strata we made with the Cheddar Bay biscuits, onions, sausage, peppers, little cheddar cheese. The Eric Estrada. The Eric Estrada. Okay. And this is going to be that breakfast casserole with the ham, hash brown potatoes, cheese. Just a little bit different texture. You can see it's just a little bit different, but they're very, very similar. Yes. Okay. I want to do the uh, potato one. All right, I'll go after the, uh, the Eric Estrada. Yeah. Let's see, it crumbles very well. Cheers. Looks like it's got some uh, great texture to it. Mm. Mm -hmm. That ham, the onions, peppers, cheese. It all comes, I mean, it's a breakfast casserole. It tastes delicious. Scotch egg? Please. Someone asked if that was an armadillo egg. Nope, nope, nope. These are the scotch eggs, and these are um, the hard boiled mm -hmm. scotch eggs. Oh, good, good, yeah. Try this. These are amazing, guys. And, and it's, a, it's a fun thing to cook for your family as well during the holiday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This may be a silly question, Chef, but are scotch eggs a Scottish thing? Yeah. Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right. But good question, birthday boy. <laughs> you can use Italian sausage, country sausage, any of your favorite ground sausage, venison sausage on the outside of these eggs. It's got a good texture. But chef tip, you have to peel your eggs before you wrap them in sausage. I agree. Don't be like those people on the internet that don't wrap their eggs. If you don't believe me, it's out there. It's not enjoyable to eat an eggshell. Can't do it. No. And Brian, a good. Eater, Sit tight, we're gonna be announcing those winners one more time. Oh, let's go ahead and roll that out right now. What, what are we giving away? Oh, we're giving away a Matador a day, Greg. Sorry, I forgot. For those of you just joining us, for just finding out about us on the internet, Madeline's saying just do one. All right, Madeline, I'll do what you say. But for those of you just joining us, just finding us on the internet, we're giving away a Matador a day for the whole month of December. And the only way for you to win is to sign up for our newsletter, post a picture, any picture, on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Use hashtag Rectech Christmas and tag Rectech Grills in it. That's it. You don't have to write anything. Uh, you don't have to like it. You don't have to do anything. But if you were an insider, but you're if you're you an already insider, knew that. if you're signed up for the newsletter, you already knew. But mm. drum roll, please. Did I say uh, did I say Kyle Harris already? You did. Yes. Yes. You did. Ah. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, that one right there. Yeah, my favorite. Robert lives. Hey. Yeah. Live. Congratulations, Robert. We will email you to find out um, whether or not you want or not. But yeah, let's make it Sammy. You a Sammy? Yeah, no, this is close. You make you a Sammy, I'll make me a Sammy. We'll meet in the middle. Maybe we can do a Lady in the Tramp style. Hashtag meet sweats. I don't know if I want to uh, partake in that. Uh... Lady in the Tramp style? You sure? Yeah. I brushed my you, teeth today. If you watch had a couple of the stuff mimosas, that I'm done. done. That uh, that was pretty intense. I'm going after the onion roll that you so carefully toasted in butter in that matador. Yeah, I'm going for the. You can toast roll? in the matador. What's this called? That's the Tolero Tolero roll. That's what I'm going for. So I'm gonna go with uh, a fried egg and some country ham. Shout out Country Club. Graduating today. Graduating today. And then uh, if you don't season your bacon, you're missing out. So Jody, hook. What'd you hook up on this? Ross Aruski's honey rib rub always. So I'm gonna do some some bacon on there. I'm gonna follow Chef's lead. You know what? I got I'm eggs and ultra. I got bacon. And ultra fatty. I'm gonna put a sausage patty on. Ooh, fatty. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna have one. I'm gonna be a one upper. Sorry, chef. And I'm gonna put some gravy on mine. See, I just didn't get that far. Uh, I'll beat you to it. It's okay. Patties or links, guys. Patties, patties, Aunt Patty, Aunt Patty, Aunt Patty, Aunt Patty, Aunt Patty, Aunt Patty. You gotta make it a monster Aunt sandwich. I know. You, I see about there, Aunt Patty. I'm gonna take a piece of monster cheese yeah. over the top. If this were me and I were living my best life, this would be uh, waffle bread. Ooh. It would be smothered in syrup. Be really good. And uh, cheers. yep, cheers. It would have nacho cheese on the inside. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Best sandwich is better than yours. It's good. What kind of bread is this one more time, Chef? That's a Tolero roll. Okay. I promise I won't ask you any more. That's okay. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. T E L E R A. You gotta go out there and get that. Mm -hmm. So, Chef, let's go over time and tip of everything that we cooked today. Just real, just, just slowly. Methodically, let's get all of our folks. Uh, up, so the up. the two egg casseroles we built. This one is going to be an egg strata, and that one's got hash browns in it. We did that at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. Okay. Now, if it's getting a little too dark, like it did on this one, wrap it in foil. Wrap it in foil. Let it go another 15 minutes. The fried eggs we did in the bowl took about five minutes. Scotch eggs we went 350 for. Uh, 35 minutes. The breakfast meats, uh, we did 375 with the Rossaruski's honey rib rub. Again, the, uh, about 20, 25 mm -hmm. minutes on the uh, cooking mat. The honey ham, the, Can the Canadian bacon, and the country ham, we did about uh, six minutes on the bowl at 350. We toasted these breads off the on Lord. the matador, just a few minutes. Have a stick of butter. And again, we made some grits on the grill. These are some delicious. <laughs> Creamy, add one country grits. If you watched our previous episodes, we actually explained mm -hmm. what a grit was. Mm -hmm. So please, we feel free uh, to go back to YouTube and check out that episode. But uh, this was how to cook a Rectech brunch. Mm -hmm. you did a great job, Chef. Thank you so much. It is December 14th, episode number 73. But guys, don't forget about our 12 Rays of Christmas giveaway. All you have to do is set your notifications to play along. Every day we're going to post. Uh, and then that post is going to tell you what to do. Don't forget to, to subscribe to our newsletter. And that's, it's as easy as going to rectechgirls.com, scrolling all the way down to the bottom and putting your email in. Okay? okay. Yeah, you're going to get insider deals, insider discounts, things like that. You're going to know before anybody else in the Rectech Nation what's going on. Don't forget we do Mail Day Monday every Monday. We've got a special, special episode of Mail Day Monday coming up this week. I actually looked at the package and I noticed that it's from Iraq. Um, it's from a, uh, a uh, military address, so I'm super, super stoked. My man, Bill Taylor. Bill, we love you. Thank you for your service. He actually sent this to us from Iraq. I'm super excited to open it up. Um, I can't freaking wait. We do meat sweats on Wednesday now. Uh, our boys, Matt Lane, every, I'm sorry, every other Wednesday, it's bi, it's bi monthly. Bi weekly, yeah. Bi weekly. Bi weekly means two a week. Yep, two a month. Bi Bye weeklies every Every other month. Okay. All right. Uh, potato, potato. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> More mimosa. Yes. But yeah, Matt Lane and AB, uh, Ashley Brown do our meat sweats. And I can't wait for you guys to see it on Wednesday. It's, it's, it's on fire. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. They'd say it up front, Brett. It's lit. Lit. It's lit. 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 Good. And then Grant goes to the grocery store every Wednesday. Uh, we upload a Reddit recipe on Thursdays. And if you guys notice on the website, we do it every Monday as well. There's a new weekly recipe. Greg uh, is Rectech Greg on Instagram. I am John Dillon Sr. That's spelled D uh, J O H N D I L L I O N S R. It's a family spelling. Please forgive me. John Dillon Sr. on Instagram. Rectech Greg on Instagram. Guys, don't forget the Dirty Girl is on sale only today. Dirty Girl never goes on sale. They never they never discount their product because they stand behind it. It's, good stuff. it's a great product. Uh, it's freshly made. They are active on uh, all social medias. It's a, a wonderful sister company that we are proud to be partnering with. We've got some great recipes on the website using that stuff, too. Absolutely. And if you were an insider, you already knew about that. Discount. Yes, absolutely. You woke up this morning with an amazing email in your inbox uh, that our marketing team designed. Um, and uh, you would have known that that was on discount. And then we may have discounts all week. Maybe. You never know. Discounts. Sign up for the uh, email news newsletter. And then... Grand finale. Let's Woo! get to it. What you guys have all wanted. The last three winners. 
of the Matador a Day giveaway. Is that what everybody's asking for? Yeah. Did I already say Kyle Harris? Yes. yes. <laughs> only, only twice. Only twice. Did I say Jay Gardner? Yeah, you got Jay. Are you sure? Okay. Did I say Robert Lives? Yes. You got Robert. Lives. Robert Lives. Okay. I, I did say Gregory Bidwell at the beginning. We got Gregory. Oh, yeah. I said Kathy O'Connor. We got Kathy. Okay. Corey? We did say Kari Poss. We, we didn't Kari get to her Poss. Yet, we got her. <laughs> so, the last winner, last and best winner of the Matador Day giveaway is Mr. Justin Medlock. Good job, Justin. Yeah. Thank you for liking us on uh, all social media. Thank you for tagging us on all social media. Thank you for using the hashtag Rectech Christmas, and thank you for posting a picture, Justin, uh, and all of our winners. Congratulations. We really appreciate it. Um, but that's about it. Make sure you check your inbox to claim your prize. That is the only way to claim your prize. Robert Don't lives call lives. us. Robert lives. He's on. We'll call hey, you. Robert. 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 You guys follow him. He uh, posts some awesome pictures. I saw that uh, earlier today. Um, but thank you so much from the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters here in Augusta, Georgia. This was Fun Day Friday. We'll see you at the RecTech. Do, do, do. Twitter going live. Twitter going live do, after do, this. Do, do, do. Check out Breakfast Sandwich. 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 Breakfast Sandwich.